2023 has had some huge anime releases. With the year coming to an end, it's time to pick our favorites. The best anime of 2023 voted by you. The Gateway to Anime Awards. We hosted polls on our Instagram and YouTube for you to vote for your favorites with four nominees for each category. And now the results are in. It's time to give out our awards for the best anime of 2023 chosen by you. The Gateway to Anime Awards. Well, hello, 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 and welcome back to Gateway to Anime. How are you all? What's going on? I am Sam, one of your hosts. Charlie, how are you? I'm good. I'm so excited to talk about anime for this year and uh, give out some well-deserved awards, I hope. We'll see. We don't know what the results are yet. Graham, how are you feeling right now? I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, man. Hollywood's biggest night. <laughs> the night of nights. Tokyo's biggest night. I don't know what the equivalent <laughs> yeah, is. Sydney's, who knows? Sydney's biggest night. <laughs> no, it's going to be great. Look, I can't wait to see who the winners are, who the losers are. Absolutely. Especially the losers. Goddamn losers. <laughs> Try harder, losers. <laughs> we are running the Gateway to Anime Awards 2023. We did this last year, but we're doing it a little bit differently this the year. The second annual. Gateways. The second annual, in fact. That is correct. That is what this officially is. So let's jump into the 2023 Gateway to Anime Awards. Of the categories, we have Best New Anime, Best Returning Anime, Best Anime Protagonist, Best Anime Antagonist, Best Gateway Anime, Best Anime Opening, Best Anime Film, and the big one, Anime of the Year. And to qualify for these awards, it had to air obviously in 2023. Uh, it seems to be we mostly ended up nominating seasonal anime. So uh, if you're here for One Piece, I'm sorry, there are no One Piece nominations this year. Can't help you. We kind of went for the seasonal things. There are four nominees selected for each category. And we did this with the help of our supporters on Patreon, which you can join if you really like what we are doing. Each individual vote was counted from both Instagram and our YouTube followers. You were invited to vote on our stories or on our community posts and YouTube. And how it's going to work, we're going to announce the results from each of them. So from Instagram and YouTube, but then there's going to be an overall winner, which is both of them combined. An aggregate if you will. Yes. We are live reacting to this. We don't know what you have all chosen. And I can't wait to get into this and see what the people hath spoketh. And I think it's going to be interesting. So just before we get into hmm. the reads of this, I think that obviously recency bias is a thing. Yes. Um, I also think that our Instagram followers and our YouTube followers uh, prefer different things. From last year, they were quite different. Hmm. So seeing how they're going to kind of go this year, I'm mostly intrigued to see how they've split the vote in that way. Um, that's almost because the most intriguing part. It's so like fascinating. You know, we all voted as well. We did. Um, so it'd be interesting to think, well, we deserve to win what you guys did. So this is this is a bit of fun. It so is. without- I feel the tension in the air. I Ooh. know. Oh, oh, and the energy. I don't think we're going to agree. No, we're not going to agree. This is Hollywood's biggest night. This it's is so Hollywood's true. biggest night. All right. So first award is Best New Anime of 2023. Okay. Oof. Here we go. The nominees are Oof. Oshinoko. Freerun, Beyond Journey's End, Pluto, Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead. Oh, good, good. So before we get into the results oh. of this, these are four completely different shows. So different. Could not be more different if they tried. So we've got, you know, idol slash drama slash murder mystery. We've got classic fantasy. We've got sci-fi and we've got zombie. Really like, diverse zombies. group of shows. So I voted for Pluto. I voted for Freerun, Beyond Journey's so End. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're all so pretty. If you listen to any episode the last <laughs> yeah. week, you're going to know. What Sam picked. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Sam's Pluto, I'm free run. I, uh, I think I went free run. Mm. I think I did go free run. Yeah, look, I personally feel like rabid about free run. Like I feel like actually <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like hectic about it, but I would be happy to see any of these when I think they're all really good shows. Indeed. Well, without further ado, let's see what you all voted for. Okay. Ooh, okay. Instagram. Insta I'm sorry, Freerun is the lowest. Don't. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. For those of you listening, so we are now looking Triggering. at the Instagram numbers. We got from the bottom up. Freerun, 19%. The lowest. The are you lowest guys one. okay? Is Instagram all right? By the way, this is the Instagram results. This is Instagram results <laughs> only. We have a draw in second place with Oshinoko and Pluto both on 26%. And the winner 
of best new anime on Instagram. On Instagram. As voted so by y'all. So, so far. So far. 29% to Zom 100. Hasn't even finished it airing yet. It hasn't even finished the show. Christmas. Oh, what to be the fair, hell? Free Run also hasn't finished airing yeah. yet. So that's, wow. Uh, like 19, that, I'm sorry, this okay. is actually personal attack. Okay, hold on. This is just Instagram. Let's see what YouTube have gone okay. for. Because okay. this is calm down Instagram, first. Instagram, you're losing we, We're not, not there yet. Jesus. Oh, now we talking. Jesus. Now we talking right. my All language. Right. YouTube, you my people. From the bottom up. Zom 100, 10%. What a the massive, lowest. What massive a difference. difference. What a difference. Then followed by Oshinoko, 12%. Then Freeran, a much more respectable 24%. But those of us with taste <laughs> have gone with Pluto for 54% on YouTube, my people. Okay, right. look, I'm just going to say the obvious thing here. <laughs> so one of our most successful YouTube videos is a Pluto video that we did a video essay on. Yep. So a lot of our followers, um, you know, come to our channel for Pluto. It's uh -huh. important to acknowledge that. Also, if you want to check out that video, um, check out our video essay on Pluto. But I'm not surprised that Pluto has won this in a landslide from our YouTube audience. Okay. What I am genuinely shocked by is Instagram having the audacity <laughs> to not vote for Freerun. <laughs> like, I, I, in my head, Freerun has won YouTube because we haven't done a video essay on Freerun. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Pretty yeah, I'm shocked about that Instagram that's, result. That's I'm, I'm actually bonkers. really, I'm deeply concerned. It's the first one. That's the first <laughs> off the cab of the rain. Like, what the fuck? Look at the drop between Instagram and YouTube on Zom 100. Dude. That's wild. It's wild. YouTube ain't got no time for someone no, But all you Instagram so folks, you're living for it. All right, let's find out the aggregate. Oh, oh, oh my lord. The final <sighs> results for best new anime of 2023. From the bottom, we have a draw. Oshinoko and Zom 100, despite winning the vote on Instagram, both 18%, <laughs> followed by Freeran. 22%. And once again, all of my people with wonderful, sophisticated taste. The new anime of 2023 is, as voted by you, Pluto with 42%. A big result. Look, I'm happy with Pluto I'm winning, I'm but I'm, I'm, I'm actually furious at Free Run <laughs> Beyond Journey's End. Like, in my head, that was Came not- second. It second. just wasn't that even- That felt like a lock. That but, felt like, like- In my head, it wasn't even a competition. This is number one on Mal. Yeah, it is. And yeah. it has been for months. Like, this is a show that's Reddit been so it. critically acclaimed. It is such a beautiful adaptation. I'm actually quite shocked. I thought I was being a normie by picking Free Run. I thought I was like, oh, so eye roll of me. Like, yeah, I'm well. also shocked at Oshinoko, which took the world by storm. Did, but recency so, bias is a thing. However, that being said, Pluto, not as recent as Freerun, I mean, it came out the same season, but it was all a big dump on Netflix in one hit. I don't know. Man, I feel disappointed. like disappointed. No, yeah. I'm I'm very happy. Best new anime of 2023 is the correct one. Well done, everyone. <sighs> yeah. you congratulate right. yourselves. Pat yourselves okay. on the back. Okay. okay. We are moving on to the best returning anime of 2023. So a show that's existed already, best returning anime of 2023. Let's have a look at the nominees. All right, Bleach, The Thousand Year Blood War, Attack on Titan, the final season, Vinland Saga, season two, the best one, and <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen Shibuya Incident Arc. We could also probably throw in the Hidden Inventory Arc as well, I suppose. Yeah, uh, yes. The second yeah. season, shall yeah. we say. All right, what but do you guys vote for? I'm basic, and I voted for Jujutsu Kaisen Shibuya Incident Arc because I just think it is quite good. And I toyed between that and Attack on Titan, but I just like, I really went for Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm not up to date with Vinland Saga, so don't come for me, Sam. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, I've read it for Vinland Saga season two because it's the best thing that's happened this year. But I think we got that when you said the best one, Vinland Saga <laughs> season <laughs> two. I'm just, I'm just saying what should be said. But anyway, Graham, what did you vote for? Look, I'm a bleach boy. You are a bleach boy. It's stiff competition. We'll see if the old dog's got. New tricks. <laughs> yes, that hey. that is true. Well, this one's interesting because obviously recency bias. You know, Bleach has got a harder time because it's a a series that's returning from a while ago. You know, it's an really? old man's anime. It's an yeah. old man. <laughs> All right. All right. Instagram. How did you vote? <laughs> okay. It's close. It's very close. It's it close. very close on Insta. So we've got Vinland Saga bringing up the rear at twelve percent. Disgraceful. Then we have Bleach <laughs> at twenty five percent. Then, very close, we've got Attack on Titan at 30% and edging out the winner on Instagram, 
Jujutsu Kaisen. This is close. Very Sorry, close. but like Bleach is putting up a good fight against the Titans, might I say. Oh. <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? Like that's actually really impressive. So I think that like a show that is on in Disney jail, who's like, you know, maybe yeah. not going to perform super well, I didn't think. Coming up with 20, I know it's coming third, but like only by 5%. Only by 5%, pretty close. Next, <laughs> YouTube, how did you vote? Okay. Hey. Okay. Right. Unfortunately, Bleach um, not getting much love with the ten percent. Then we've got Jujutsu Kaisen at eighteen in third on YouTube. Wow, that's huge. And what? some connoisseurs <laughs> over on YouTube with a thirty-one percent for Vinland Saga. Yes, and winning YouTube's vote forty-one percent. Attack on Titan. This is gonna be close. Oh. Okay. Wow. wow. Those numbers okay. didn't shift wow. much. All right. Wow. Okay. 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 So, unfortunately, coming up the back is Bleach at 16%. Then Jujutsu Kaisen at 23%. That's, in that's, third, that's crazy. In that's third, a shock. Yeah. then at 1% above, those with taste, Vinland <laughs> Saga Season 2 at 24%. But the winner, the winner of Best Returning Anime is... Attack on Titan, the final season. Yeah. The fact that Jitsu Kaisen's third is wild. That's wild, dude. Wow. That's wild, if you were to like, you know, like, guess which one, I would have bet my life that it was going to be Jitsu Kaisen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, People in just a like landslide. farming sagas. That's what it is. Like, they should. True. They should. You know. Stardew Valley with Vikings, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Yes. Sounds <laughs> good. Attack on Titan, congratulations. Well Attack on Titan, yeah. You did fair it. Enough. You You've finally it. did it. You're fine. You finally You're got fine. recognized. <laughs> finally. <laughs> All, right. All right. right. So this is for Best Anime Protagonist 2023. I like this one. This is fun. This is fun. Let's see the nominees. So we have got Free Run, Free Run Beyond Journey's End, Geish from Pluto, mm -hmm. Mau Mau from The Apothecary Diaries, and Yuji Itadori from Jujutsu Kaisen. Now, quickly, I want to say something. We, we copped a bit of heat about the fact that Thorfinn from Vinland Saga wasn't included in this. Now, firstly, let me say we did this in conjunction with our patrons, but I will take some responsibility for that. I should have pushed harder. I should have just subverted democracy. <laughs> Jesus. I should have. I'm sorry. I'm just I like, you're saying democracy. all this, but you're the one that said we should put Yuji in. Like, well, I've got the Yuji, receipts. Well, because Yuji, fair enough. It's fair. I mean, like, <laughs> he's, he's the protagonist of the main show of, like, the, the current hottest. buzziest show, the hottest yeah, show right of now, the year. Yeah. So here's the thing. It was okay. harder than it looks. Okay, guys. You know what shouldn't have been there, Charlotte, perhaps? Mama. You didn't fucking watch the shows. All I'll say All right, is fine, Thorfinn, yeah, probably deserved to be nominated, but we only have four nominations. We have to say we're in conduction. And, and also I think that, like, I haven't seen anyone like her before and I think that she will stand the test of time. She's very beloved amongst the, you know, small but vocal community of the Apothecary dozens, Diaries. Dozens of us. But um, I think she's interesting. Also, I think that this is a kind of category where we can actually <clears throat> represent animes that are slightly less popular. Yes. And the Apothecary Diaries is hugely popular, just yeah. maybe not amongst our followers. Obviously, I voted for Mau Mau because that was my, like, you know, the, similar to last year you had... Mm -hmm. Uh, who'd you AOI have it? from uh, Aoashi. Yeah. And stand by that. Yeah, exactly. We've got to have these ones by. Character. It's a great character. Jared Little One understands. Thank you, Jerry. Jerry now. also likes Mau Mau, yeah. so there you go. Oh, okay, well, you know, maybe right. there's something to this. Who okay, did Instagram. How did you vote? Who did you vote? Oh, I voted for Geist from Pluto because I think Geist is fantastic. Yeah, it's got to be free, Ren. That's also a good shout. I was torn between Mau Mau and free, Ren. I got to support free, Ren. Mm. <laughs> All right, Instagram, how did you vote? Okay. <laughs> Fuck it. Um, oh, Jesus. Okay. So, with a respectable 7% is Mau Mau. You go, girl. Followed by Geist at 13%, followed by Freeran at 20 and with a whopping 61%, Yuji Itadori. Instagram loves to do that. Look, close. I, that's a, oh, that's I don't, I, a don't want to hate on our Instagram followers because, like, I think I'm that not it's fair. That, yeah. No, but I. You scam I, Instagram. But you're making it hard to love you, Instagram, because I just don't <laughs> get it. I don't get Inodori. I don't think he's the best protagonist of this season at all. Well, the but, people have spoken. YouTube, what did you think? Let's see if it's different. It Ooh. is different. It is. Well, one thing's not different. <laughs> <laughs> Mau Mau, 5%. She did worse. She did worse. <laughs> She's gone backwards. She's gone backwards. <laughs> None of you get it. <laughs> don't get it. Then we got Free Rent at 27%. Pretty good. But Pretty then good. the tight one between the top two, we've got Yuji Itadori on 33% and winning on YouTube because all y'all get it. Geist. That's wild. That I get is it. wild. I get it. I don't think Geist deserves this. Really? No. Wow. He's a great character, but he's not the best protagonist. Freerun, I would say, deserves it more. more anyway. Than Mau Mau? anyway. 
Yeah, look, I love Mama. I had her in there because I was like, she deserves recognition. But Free Run to me, I thought had the like all of the ingredients to be protagonist the of the year. Let's see what happened. Well, who wins? Who is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, this makes sense. This yeah. makes sense. So we got Mau Mau at 6%, then very close for second and third. Free Ren is third at 24%. Geist, Disgusted with this 25%. Result. And the winner of Best Protagonist at the Gateway Awards 2023 is Yuji Itadorian. We cop some heat for putting him even up as yeah, a nominee. But like, he's he won swept. by landslide. He swept, he swept it. it. But I will say, like, I don't I don't personally think that Yuji deserves this win. Sure. But I'm glad he's had a win because he's had a tough season. <laughs> yeah. so, so, um, Everyone's dead. But he's the winner. So. Well done, Yuji. Congratulations, Big one. Yuji. Big, one. Big win. Big win. Okay, now the inverse. Best anime antagonist. We've got the bad guys. We've got the baddies coming bad out. Bad boys are here. On girls. All right, oh, here we go. No girls. Okay. <laughs> so we've got Not Ibarra. all women are evil. No. <laughs> <laughs> We got Ibarra from Doctor Stone. Bit of a left, bit of a left field one. Bit yeah, of a look, Mau you- Mau vibe. Pluto. From Pluto. Now, some of you might be like, yo, there's another character who probably should have been the primary antagonist who was the primary antagonist of that. But for these awards, we didn't want to spoil anything. So as a result, Pluto made the cut. Then we have Yehovak again. Took me so long to figure out how to pronounce that. When I was reading the manga back in the day, I was like, Yay watch? Like, is that Yay Yay Wak? No one really knows. No one. No even one knows. in the show, they, they pronounce no. it different. It's like Berthold from Attack on Titan. Just like every scene, Ooh, different blah, 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 pronunciation. Blah. And who I think will probably take this in a bit of a landslide and probably deservedly so, Mahito from Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah, look, I've never hated an anime character more in my life. <laughs> more? I feel like rage. That like, I, I, it elicits a rage in me. Like, he makes Rachel from Tower of God look like a fucking legend. He makes Shao <laughs> Tucker look like an okay father. <laughs> Joking, he doesn't actually. He does. No he does, does no one. Shao Tucker is the worst uh, <laughs> yeah, anime like, villain, I'm probably. <laughs> but Mahito, up there for sure. Oh, he's, and he's, the voice, but like, it pained me because I was like, God, I hate this character. I would love to see them not on screen. But then I realized, I was like, oh, it means it's a fantastic really antagonist. Yeah, so so I voted for Mahito. I also voted for Mahito. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, of course. Yeah. Look at him. Look at him. Well, look what at him. an Instagram Bastard. vote. What an Instagram vote. Okay. Oh, All yeah. right. overwhelming. Okay. All right. So, so even worse than Matt <laughs> Mount. <laughs> we both got one. We both got one. <laughs> Ibarra, 4%. All right. Uh, Pluto, 12%. Yay, Havaka, pretty good. 29%. Nice but bad. rather expectedly, 55% to Mahito, which, yeah, it checks out. That's fair. All right. YouTube, what did you think? Okay. Ibarra. Did anything change? Four percent Ibarra. Seventeen percent Pluto. Twenty-seven percent Gay Havak. And fifty-two percent Mahito. Now I think we're gonna have our winner. Let's have a look. Bam. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Four I mean, percent Ibarra. Well deserved. Well, well deserved. Sixteen percent Pluto. Twenty-seven percent Yay Havaka and anime. Antagonist of 2023 is, of course, Mahito from Jujutsu Kaisen. Big win. And oh. you know what? Probably as, probably as much of a slam dunk clear cut case as you'll ever get. Yeah. yeah. I'm already yeah. annoyed looking at his face right now. I know, he's I, such I'm a dick, like, dude. God. It's not even a love to hate. It's just hate to I hate, hate, him. hate him. We all agree. Totally. Yeah, I'm not going to argue that. Nah, Absolutely. Absolute winner. What do we got next? Ooh, I love, I love this, this award. This is a great yes. category. So this is the best gateway anime of 2023. What we mean by this is this is the anime that you would show somebody to try and get them into anime, which is what our podcast started as. Is kind of how we kind of came to be what we are. So to me, it's not the best anime that is in this category. It is the one that I think would be the easiest to show people to try and get them into anime. Yeah. So oh, my yeah. pick's not necessarily my favourite of the shows here, but, it, yes. yeah, it's interesting. So the nominees are Free Run Beyond Journey's End, mm-hmm. The Apothecary Diaries, Pluto, Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead. Okay. Who did you vote for? I voted for Pluto. Yeah. Because I think even though it's like, I mean, Free Run very close because, again, I think like Free Run's the perfect thing you could show like a D&D person who's never watched anime and be like, see, someone who's into D&D can easily watch Free Run and be like, oh, hell yeah, this is great. Then they're off on the gateway. Yeah. Right. But for me, Pluto, it is something you can show someone and be like, see, not for kids. Yeah. Yeah. This is a very adult, very grown up, very like sophisticated show. I voted for Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead, which is shocking because it's my least favorite show out of the four. But 
I think there's something in the energy of that first episode that really mm. harks back to like shows that I've seen other non-anime fans enjoy anime with, like One Punch Man, yes. Beautiful Colors. It's a zombie comedy. Zombie land. Like, zom- yeah. You know, like that kind of um, I think it's really well done. I think it's super accessible. So I think that would be my pick that most people would be kind of open to watching in that way. Mm. I went free run. Yeah. Mainly because I got a lot of nerd friends. Yep. And I think that the magic and the fantasy aspects of it would be a really easy sort of gateway for people. Mm-hmm. And also my girl needs to win. Yeah. Wow. Not been a night so far. It's bullshit. This is the best show. Anyway. Number one yeah. show on Mal. Anyway, Instagram. How did you vote? Oh. That's nuts. <laughs> that's okay. fair though. Charlie I, gets it. Honestly, Charlie gets win. Yeah. Yeah, honestly no, though, right. my point stands. Yep. Like I went, I thought about the actual rules of the category. Yep. I didn't go, what's my favorite show? I went, what's the best gateway anime? And yes. I went, this is one. Like this is absolutely one. So I voted for it. So yeah, so, yeah, so we have Apothecary Diaries at 12%. Free run at 19%. Wow. wow. Instagram, you hate free run. Weird. Weird. Pluto, 27%, which is actually quite good, I think. Yes. And 42% Zom 100. Mm-hmm. There you go. What did YouTube say? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Wow. A 5% for Apothecary Diaries. Zom 100 now in third place on what? YouTube. 17%. What a massive, Free massive Rent, picking drop. it back up, 27%, but an overwhelming vote. For Pluto at 51%. I'm glad that Freerun's doing better on YouTube. I am, but I just don't. Anyway, we'll see. Let's see. Let's see. This, is gonna be, this is gonna be close. I'm interested. Oh, it's not that close at all. Uh, well, second in place is. Wow. What? Okay. Apothecary Diaries, 7%. Freerun, third place, 24 But the girl cannot get a win tonight. Cannot get a win. Zom 126%. And the winner, Pluto at 43% to take out best gateway anime of 2023. Pluto. Yes, look, people. Yes. Look, that's what I'm talking I, about. I guess Pluto, as you said, the adult themes in yes. it. Also the take on Astro Boy, like that's a recognisable title to a lot of people just through our childhoods. Yeah, and all sorts of ages like, too. Yeah. So I, I guess so. It's a surprising one, but I'm actually really stoked. About that win. <laughs> yes, Pluto. Yes. Uh, best anime opening. Oof. And the nominees are mm. Oshinoko, Idol, Bleach, Stars, Hell's Paradise, Work, Jujutsu Kaisen, Specials. Oof. We did this last year. So this is kind of like new, this is a new one. This is a new one. Oshinoko broke records. A like phenomenon. A song that absolutely took off in its own right. I think I read somewhere that it was the most streamed music video. Full stop. Oh, of really? the, I think it beat Taylor Swift. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Who's going to correct you? Not I'm me. <laughs> pretty sure. The Swifties are coming for uh, us. Oh, no, I've done it now. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it was the most streamed, like, mu- not just like music song, but like music video of the year on YouTube. Huge. This thing was huge, dude. A clear winner then. Okay. To me, it's wow. like. Wow. It also, I think that it, to me, it really sums up the energy of Oshinoko as an anime. It's like frantic it's like an idol it's like very glitzy but it's also a little bit discomforting it's a little bit like mm. what's going on fast paced kind of banger you're like intrigued there's like a fucking choir happening there's a lot going on in this song that was my vote for sure so i voted um, for oshinoko because mm-hmm. i like the song it's fantastic hell's paradise my god was that this year because it yeah, really right. feels like 10 years ago <laughs> but well, here so we are so much, so has, much happened. has happened this year. um bleach i like the anime style of that Honestly, Oshinoko could be beaten by Jutsu Kaisen because Specials is a fantastic also song. Also banger. I voted for Bleach, actually, just to, to zig while one zags. <sighs> uh, I think Bleach is favorite stars. I listen to it on, on Spotify. I think it's My great. It's a great animation style. It's sick. What do you vote for, Gray? I th- think I voted for Hell's Paradise. Also a banger. And same opening as uh, Chainsaw Man, right? Same producer as Chainsaw yeah. Man opening and the very first Jujutsu Kaisen one when he's oh, on the train. Yes, same. Yes, yes, Amazing. Yes, 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 um, yes, yes, I'll be happy if Hell's Paradise or Jujutsu Kaisen wins. They're all good. Yeah. But yes. You are all right, my Insta. specials. Yeah. yeah, look, it's catchy as hell. But Oshinoko, oh my God. Okay. All right, Insta, what did you do? <laughs> not even <laughs> my god us. All right. wow okay. look, look I'm not surprised That's so we have me. Hell's Paradise 11% god damn it you guys Bleach 12% Oshinoko, 20%. Wow. That seems rather low. So low. Jujutsu Kaisen, 57%. Look, we know our Instagram followers love Jujutsu Kaisen. And this song is very good. Yeah, but Oshinoko, that's... Anyway, that's interesting. YouTube. YouTube. Surely, surely YouTube's got to have some more Oshinoko love. Surely. 
Oh, there you go. It does. Okay. It does. All right, bleach. Oh, gee, you don't like bleach over on YouTube, do you? 6% bleach, 24% Hell's Paradise, 27% Jujutsu Kaisen, and a big old 44 for Oshinoko. Oshinoko coming through It's going to be tight. Here. It's going to be fucking tight. I think my math says that Oshinoko Your is the winner. Okay, yes, but- I don't know, man. The vibes. The vibes. <laughs> the vibes. Let's feel what the vibes have. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Let's feel the vibes, people. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what? That's the vibes. A 1% vibe check. A 1% vibe check. The Fuck. math. The math, <laughs> the math the has math been here. beaten. My <laughs> fucking awful maths. <laughs> Holy shit, all right, Bleach getting trounced 8%, Hell's Paradise 19%, and a 1% differential. Is that our closest? Is that yeah. closest? Yeah. Oh, that's closest. crazy. Oshinoko oh. 36, and the winner of best opening is Jujutsu Kaisen Specials. Holy wow. shit. I needed a win, and I thought that was going to win. But it was Mate, in the bag. You're, you're not having a good shot. night. I truly thought that was going to win. That's crazy. That I don't- is... Look, I look. we love it. We love this song, but I don't agree. Oshinoko is a better opening. Sorry. 1%, but Specials. Look, it's a banger. It's a banger opening. It is a banger. All four of those are great openings, but like, I mean, wow. The math. <laughs> Math, math ain't math, 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 math. That was some girl math right there, <laughs> and I was just wrong. We love it. All right. What's next? Bring it on. All right. Okay. Ooh. Best Here we anime go. film. Okay. This is a good, good, good category. Best anime film 2023. Here are the nominations. The first slam dunk. Suzume, the boy in the heron, and Black Clover, Sword of the Wizard King. Mm, okay. We're eating good this year with so, the films. Okay. This is a crazy category. So it's all over the place. <laughs> not only do we have two Golden Globe nominees, are more likely like two of these films are probably likely to be Academy Award nominees. And let's not forget four Gateway to Anime no nominees. Absolutely. <laughs> but I've done a review on the first Slam Dunk and the Boy in the Heron. If you're interested in my views, go look at them. They were two of my favorite movies of the whole year. So this is also a fantastic film. Yeah. Have not seen Black Clover. Heard it was good. Sorry, Black Clover. You might be in a bit of trouble. Studio Ghibli. Hayao Miyazaki's The Boy in the Harem, which is like such a fantastic film. But to me, and this is shocking, I voted for the first slam dunk. I loved that movie shocking. so fucking much. I also voted for the first slam dunk. And like, All right. I don't know, because in my head, so I just good. I loved it. I know The Boy in the Heron is like, oh, I, I really agonized. And Suzume is also fantastic. And Makoto Shinkai as well, the other big about hero. the first slam dunk, I just went, Mm, I really enjoyed that movie a lot. I was so hyped. It was like, I, and I'm not even a fan of Slam Dunk. I've never read the source material. I've not seen the original. I just came straight in to the movie and I enjoyed it that much that I voted for it over two of the most famous <laughs> anime directors or film directors of our time. Yeah, and I, I went, mm, but like, did they have a bitch. basketball match? <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Walking towards a camera when they're all being drawn and that hype song. Well, that didn't going, happen like in the Heron, did it? Like, <laughs> where was that? That's what was missing. <laughs> hey one criticism. No, but in the Heron is a masterpiece. <laughs> right, it actually is a masterpiece. All right, I'm actually super intrigued. I mean, I'm this. so intrigued because I think my theory is. If Black Clover takes this. I'm, if, I'm, we, I'm, we if riot. Black Clover wins this, I'm, I'm walking out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm done. It's over. I'm I done. love Black Clover, but. But our viewers are more likely to be slam dunk fans. Well, we'll see. Instagram, what did you think? <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> what? Get out of here, Instagram. What is that? Oh my okay. god! Sorry, okay. Suzume is a Golden Globe award. Like it's it an is amazing, amazing movie, movie. Okay, a fantastic movie. With this. But we all just slept on it so hard. <laughs> we were like, "Oh, it's going to be between ah, the first. And then it was not okay. Sorry, guys. Right. Okay. Read it out. Read it out. A theory, a theory. But the boy in the heron is very recent. Yeah. Do you think maybe Love people, people seen haven't seen it? It's yeah, divisive, yeah. though. Uh, also divisive. Uh, so it's thirteen. Divisive. We got thirteen percent at the bottom. <laughs> the first slam dunk. We don't know anything. Got like Black Clover. <laughs> then we got, What's happening? The, hang on, the Black Clover beat the boy in the heron as well. This is wild. What? The boy in the heron at 16%, Black Clover at 19%, and then not even close, Suzume at 52%. Wow. This is insane. I did not expect that. Do we okay. need to tell the Academy they need to be considering Black Clover Black over Clover. the boy in the heron? <laughs> Do we need to call them? Do we need to write some strong Hi, worded letters? Um, All right, YouTube. Wow, YouTube, we have been what? This is humbled. Fucking hell. We've been humbled. That was shake, that's shaking me to the core. Oh! oh. Okay. 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 Oh my okay. god. Okay. 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 So four percent black clover, 
18% Suzume, mm-hmm. 32% first slam dunk, 46% the boy and the heron. Oh, this is YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Not surprising. We've done videos on both the boy and the heron and the first slam dunk. Black Clover, I'm not surprised, is not doing <laughs> it as yeah. well. I really wanted to win. I, <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to take really it. Suzume <laughs> really taken a hit at YouTube, which I'm surprised because well. that director is very deeply beloved as well. I actually um this one's actually the one I'm most nervous for now. Because I like <laughs> this is even yeah. poised. Yeah. I actually don't know which yeah. is Black Clover. All right. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. That's pretty close. No, okay, 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 okay. Black Clover with a paltry 7%. Fuck Thanks. For a it there. came third on Instagram. I know it did. It did because YouTube just tanked it. 26%. Despite dominating Instagram, Suzume coming in third. The first slam dunk, 28%, but I guess shouldn't really be a big surprise. The winner. The Boy and the Heron, Hayao Miyazaki's potentially final film. Look, it's actually a masterpiece. Yeah. Just because I preferred the first slam dunk because I got hyped in the cinema. I think the, the Boy and the Heron is is genuinely a cinematic masterpiece. And please go and see it. It's out in the cinemas. Go and see it on a big oh, screen. I'm going to go see it tomorrow. Let's do yeah, it. Man. I mean, it's, this is well-deserved. I can't argue yeah. this. Yeah. Huge win. I can't Huge argue win. it. Not surprised. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> 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 second. I was like, Black Clover's going to take this bitch. <laughs> oh, that would have been the best thing ever. Instagram just oh. like threw me for a six there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised Susan May did well though. It's a very yeah, it's a great film, film. Obviously, so but... yes, great year for anime films. Great year. Oh! Okay, people, we have come to the big one: the anime of the year 2023. Let's look at the nominees. We have Freerun. Now, wouldn't it just be everything if Freerun just came up and won this? Now, don't like, mock me like this. Uh, Free uh, Free uh, this, this should win. This, all right. It's one on mouth. Like it's, it's actually not. <laughs> it's not a hot take a, to say Freerun is the anime of the year. It's, it's not had a, hot a take. bad night. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, which you know I think will probably win this. I, I don't um, know, dude. Pluto, which I hope wins this. And Attack on Titan. Oh, actually, this is this is tough. This is gonna be insane, actually. So I, I voted for Pluto. I voted for Freerun. Mm-hmm. I didn't vote. Didn't vote. You left this one. Didn't see the posts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I if I was gonna vote, it would probably be between Jujutsu Kaisen and Freerun. I got a lot of love in my heart for Freerun, but the hype train on Jujutsu Kaisen is strong right now. This is going to be insane. This is going to be wild. Four killer right. shows. Because killer I think shows. they're going to vary so differently on Instagram. Oh, like um, Clover's going to win it, baby. <laughs> this is <laughs> fascinating. <laughs> All right, Instagram, what wildness have you got for me? Okay. 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 Instagram loves Jujutsu Kaisen. We Not established surprised. this. So we got coming up last. Uh, what is that that is insane. Sorry. That is objectively wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is genuinely number one on my own. I'm actually freaking out. 18% Pluto, 24% Attack on Titan, and a huge 44% to Jujutsu Kaisen. You Holy shit. Are man. all sleeping on Free Run. Oh, Look, oh. I'm fine with Jujutsu Kaisen winning, but I'm just so upset that Free Run is at 14%. That is wild. It hurts to me. my soul. Yeah. That is wild to me. I did. Okay, okay, okay. Understandable. YouTube, what do you got? <sighs> Ooh. Oh. <laughs> the swing is wild between Free the two. Raven coming up last again. It's had a shocker of a night. You know why everyone's a fucking misogynist? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <geez. laughs> Just antagonize all of our audience. 19% Jujutsu Kaisen, 23% Pluto, 40% Attack on Titan. YouTube loves Attack on Titan as much as Instagram loves Jujutsu Kaisen. So... This is the battle that was foretold. If Attack on Titan wins with two episodes, oh, the people will have spoken. They would have spoken. The people will have spoken. To Mark Street. And it's a huge work. <laughs> this reporter said it once, he'll say it again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. The anime of the year, as voted by all of y'all across Instagram and YouTube, what do we have? <sighs> That's bullshit. <laughs> Charlie is out. I'm fucking off. She's it. done for 2023. Okay, at 17%, we have Free Run Beyond Journey's End, <laughs> which is the most offensive. Okay. So offensive. Then 22% Pluto, 25% Jujutsu Kaisen, and then absolutely coming in on top, Attack on Titan, 36%. Anime of the year. Wow. Look, wow. Uh, we debated not putting it in because we were like, it only had two movie length episodes. But then we were like, it does, I think it does deserve to be in there because, and I, mm. do, I do think they did a fantastic job with the material oh, and what have been they did. Crucified if we left it. Yeah. yeah. And it was good, but I really 
think this list is actually entirely backwards, <laughs> in my opinion. I think Free Ridge should be number one, Pluto number two, Jujutsu Kaisen three, Attack on Titan four. That's how I personally would put it. Wow. But not to disagree with everyone here because I, I'm glad that everyone voted and honestly it's nice to see different people's opinions and people like different things. I guess people just haven't watched Free Ridge or it would win. Maybe. Okay. So <laughs> to sum winners. it all up, best anime film, Boy and the Heron. Now Pluto took out two awards which I believe are very justified. Best new anime and best gateway anime, huge wins. That's huge. Attack on Titan, though, best returning anime and anime of the year with two episodes. Beach Jitsu Kaisen. That's a loose. Shocking. But the most awarded show this year is probably to no one's surprise, yeah. Jujutsu Kaisen with the best anime protagonist, best anime antagonist, and the best anime opening. I for one welcome our new anime overlords. <laughs> okay, all right. I think I disagree with literally every single award <laughs> except totally for none of this. except for the best anime film. I get the boy in the hair, but I'm just saying like best new anime should have been Freerun. Best gateway anime, that's fair. Best returning anime, no. I would have gone Vinland Saga. I would have gone Jujutsu Kaisen for that actually. Anime of the year should have been Freerun. Protagonist should have been <laughs> 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 no, it should have been Freerun. Antagonist, Mahito. I agree with that yes. one. And best anime opening should have been Oshinoko. Mm. That's my personal opinion. That's your, that's your but list. But I'm not people everyone spoken, and the yeah. people have spoken. So the Boy in the Heron deserved its win. It did. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I love Slime Dunk though. It's testament to say that everything we've nominated with our patrons as well, we liked. So yeah, this yeah, isn't yeah, yeah. upsetting. Like we're like, we all we enjoyed these shows. And you can't deny the overwhelming popularity of Attack on Titan. And Here Jesus we are. Surprising. I look forward to next year where those two shows are not in the running. So we can actually uh, because you know who wasn't on our list at all? Demon Slayer. Yeah. Didn't have a single nomination this year. So next year, season. let's see what happens. Like I kind of can't wait to see. Who comes out on top? Demon Slayer didn't feature at all. Hey? Yeah, that's no actually- No one complained. No, because I think no that- No one complained. voted for it on our Patreon. Yeah. I think next year, because we don't have Attack on Titan, we don't have Jujutsu Kaisen. Yes. We are going to have a very new different, crop of things. Different. It's going to be very- Let's see what the next big thing is. Anyway, thank you so much for oh, voting. All of you- I know we're bagging on you, but honestly, like your opinion is just as valid as mine. And we'd love to hear what people think. Yes, and let us you, know. Please let us know in the comments if you hate me. Uh, actually, maybe don't do don't that. Don't do that. I'll be upset. I can't take it. <laughs> Glass houses. Does anyone have any honorable mentions this year that we weren't featured or didn't win? For me, I'm going to throw one in there, which I think was really slept on because it was in Disney jail, was Heavenly Delusion. 100%. I thought Heavenly Delusion was an excellent show this year. The animation was outstanding. It was a very different, very sort of un-anime-esque story post-apocalyptic just a really cool show one which i don't think got enough credit this year that's my big pick of the honorable mentions this year no i think i'm pretty good i've got <laughs> freeman didn't win anything but she was there <laughs> i've got a couple first i'd like to thank you guys for letting me put apothecary diaries in a couple of categories because it deserved it i think skip and lofa is one of the best shows of the year. And I would have put a her as main protagonist. I would have put it in every single category. I also loved my um, my dating story, the Matakun level 100. I love that show as well. So those are two fantastic shoujo shows if you want to give those a go. Tomo-chan? Yeah, Tomo-chan is fun. Uh, Tomo-chan is a lot of fun. It's not on the same tier as those two to me though. It's like a step down. Like if you want to have fun, watch a show. It's very entertaining. Tomo-chan's good. There's also MF Ghost, which should have won <laughs> all categories. <laughs> Um, we need an award for that. An award like, for the, the show we want something to be. Yeah, the, the wildest biggest swing disappointment, award. Biggest <laughs> the biggest disappointment. disappointment. MF Ghost Award. Yeah. Yeah. But this, MF year, <laughs> this year was truly a fantastic year for anime. What a year for anime. That's One of the thing. best. One of the best. What a year for anime. Oh, my God. And I can't wait to see what 2024 brings. And, yes, thank you all so much for voting. What a great time. It's so much fun to react to these live. Like I was shooketh. Justice for Freerun, though. Like, Justice for Freerun. Oh. Like, Honestly. Pretty wild. What is happening? Pretty wild that Freerun got absolutely, like, kicked to the curb. Didn't win one award. <laughs> Number one on Mel. She won like, the award of my heart. <laughs> that it's, is, it's that's like, the big takeaway. It's like takeaway. the best anime, I think. It's like my favourite. It's in the top five of all time. It's a great show. Anyway. It's we'll surprising. We'll see. see. It, has, it hasn't finished it is. yet. We'll that's see you at the third is. annual Gateway Awards. We will indeed. So that is... The 2023 Gateway to Anime Awards. And it's also our kind of our year roundup. 
will be, of course, coming back in 2024. Thank you all so much for your support. We really, really appreciate it. You can find us on our social media platforms of Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. And again, if you want to get involved in the voting and many other things, join us on our Patreon. A lot of fun over there too if you really get like what we're doing. And your noms and I mean, your support means so much to us. We really appreciate it. This has been a big year for Gateway to Anime. We're going to take a little bit of time off uh, over this sort of holiday period. We'll be back in the new year. With all content just about free run. Free run content, <laughs> wall silly. to wall. <laughs> Gateway to free run channel. <laughs> Legitimately. <laughs> Gotta prepare yourselves. Grab Charlie. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Sam. Thank you, everyone. Bye. If you're curious about how this went last year, you can find out which anime was voted best of 2022 right now. Gateway to Anime Awards 2022 out now on YouTube. <laughs>